Hey, this is Zach Hendricks, the safety manager for Southern Star, and I've got helping me today Donald Draper, one of the FSMs from Fort Smith. We're going to show you how to install the new cross view mirrors on the back side of our van. So uh, I was going to start you out just with the, when you open the box, you'll see this kit. You're going to just tear it open, get the instructions out in case you need those. We are going to go through everything on here. The, the instructions are not that detailed. So we're going to go through step by step on how to do this so you'll know. Uh, the bolt kit you'll need is the ones that actually got uh, three bolts, three nuts, and then three plastic washers in it. We'll need that one. The other bolt kit will actually go with the mirror and that will come later. And then the actual piece itself that, that we'll be mounting to the, to the van. So uh, we're going to go ahead and get started with the mounting process. I'm going to carry my bolt kit, my instructions, a uh, pencil, I've got a tape measure, hammer, and we'll also need that punch for whenever we get ready to drill the holes. And Donald, if you'll grab that drill, I think that's all we'll need for now. Okay, this part to me, marking the holes, is probably the most difficult part of this. You've got to get this just right or else the mirror won't fit. So if you look at the plans, uh, it's using this, what they call the rain gutter. This edge that the ladder rack is actually mounted on, we'll be measuring off of that, and then we'll be measuring off the back where the metal part meets the plastic part. We're gonna actually measure off the metal. So uh, for the first one, for this first hole, we're gonna measure one inch back from the back of the van. I'm going to mark it with my pencil here. And then we're going to measure back seven and a half inches from the edge of the rain gutter. So we'll need to take that, measure our seven and a half, mark that with a pencil. Then I'm going to mark my one inch again back from the edge. So where those two lines intersect, that's where our first hole needs to go. We're actually just an inch away from that plastic edge. Uh, the second hole, we're going to measure back seven inches from the rain gutter. Mark that. And then measure back nine inches from the plastic. And again, where those two lines intersect, where our second hole is going to go. So we've got one hole here, one hole here, and the third hole is actually going to go down on the side of the van. We're going to measure down eight inches from the bottom of the rain gutter. So I'm going to hold it at the bottom of the rain gutter, mark eight inches, and then we are two inches, two inches back from the plastic. And again, where those intersect, there's our third hole. Okay, now that we've got all of our holes marked, we're gonna use a punch to uh, mark the area where we want our drill bit to go. So I'm gonna take my hammer and my punch Put it exactly on the mark where we want the hole. Now this is thin sheet metal, so you don't have to hit it very hard. But we're just going to give it a little tap. And that makes a nice little uh, indention for the drill bit to go into. I'm going to do that on all three locations there. And then the one on the side. Okay. I'm going to take my drill. And we're going to put it on one of the holes, start drilling slowly. Until, it, until that drill bit breaks through. Now this drill bit, uh, you'll see on the plans, has to be an 11 30 seconds drill bit, which we're going to provide for you. We'll provide the punch as well. 
So uh, that hole has to be precisely 11 30 seconds. Okay, that's it for drilling the holes. Okay, now that we've got our holes drilled, we're ready to insert what they call the clinch nut. If you'll take the, uh, the bolt kit, tear it open, maybe. We're gonna take out the three little inserts, the threaded inserts. We're gonna put one in each one of the holes. Now these are supposed to be a snug fit. That's why we use that 11 30 seconds drill bit. I'm gonna go ahead and insert the other two. May have to use just a little bit of force, but that's okay. We want we want them to be snug. Okay, and the last one here on the side. Okay, so now we've got our threaded inserts, and we're actually ready to mount the uh, strut system on there. First thing we want to do before we do that is to seal all these holes up. We don't need any rain leakage, rust building up around these holes. And that's what the, uh, the three white plastic rings are for. These actually go around each one of the, of the three inserts. And then we're going we're gonna to silicone those really well. Now you'll notice these aren't regular hex head bolts. They're, uh, they actually have a Torx head. So I've got a T30, T30 Torx head uh, fitting on this ratchet that I'm going to use to tighten these things down. Now as you tighten them down, the nut itself is going to be expanded on the inside of the van so it won't pull out. Okay, now what I'm running into here is the nut is actually spinning inside the van. So I'm going to have Donald use some pliers and hold that in place for me to keep that thing from spinning. Okay, now Donald's holding the back. We're going to tighten it down. Just snug that nut down. Not too tight, but uh, we just wanted to get a good bite into that metal. We're going to do the same thing with the other two. Okay, once all three are tightened, now we've got a good stable mount. We need to uh, go ahead and tighten our brackets here. Donald, if you'll hand me that ratchet. This is a half inch ratchet that we'll use to tighten these two nuts. And if that bolt wants to turn on, you just get a half inch wrench on the other side. Hold that thing in place. Okay, now we've got a good, solid, stable mount that's going to hold our mirror. Okay, now that we've got the strut system securely mounted and sealed, we're going to go ahead and mount the mirror. And you'll notice on the, on the back and on the front of the mirror, there's a hole that is for draining water. You, you always want that pointed down just in case any moisture gets inside there. We're going to open the, uh, the other bolt kit. It's got just a nut and a washer that goes on the back of the mirror. Okay, I have to use uh, my pliers to hold the front of the mirror and then the half inch ratchet to go ahead and tighten it down. All right, now that it's snug, we're again going to make sure that that drain hole is, is pointed down. And uh, then we'll start looking at adjusting this thing so you can actually use it. Okay, now that we've got your mirror installed, now it's time to adjust it to... Uh, to be able to properly see. Uh, you'll need to get in your driver's seat, your normal driving position. Uh, you'll want to make sure that your upper rear view mirror is adjusted high enough where you can see the cross view mirror back there behind the van. Uh, then you'll want to have someone standing behind the van that can adjust the cross view mirror. Donald, can you help me with that? Yes, Donald, if you would turn that towards the back of the van, please. There we go, that looks pretty good. Uh, I've got it set up where I can see approximately four feet behind the van. 
and uh, that way I'll be able to see across the back of the van in case uh, someone is behind me, a vehicle is pulled up behind me, or I'm backing into a space, and uh, it allows me to see everything that's going on behind me so I don't have any incidents there. We're installing these mirrors across the company, so now's a great time to get everybody on board. We're going to get these installed on every van, and uh, if you have questions or problems with this, feel free to give me a call. I've installed several of these now, so uh, I can help you in any way possible.